version with them. And just to uh, finish it off a bit of a, just a solid information. The Umrah is uh, one of those words um, in Arabic language which we call Muthallas. Muthallas. It's a, it's a linguistic triangle. So, so Ghamr and Ghimr and Umrah. That's a linguistic. So only vowels are changing. Ghamr and Ghimr and Ghumr. Ghamr means, with, with Fath, Ghamr means a lot of water. It also means darkness of night. And for darkness, pitch dark. That's what Ghamr is. And Ghimr means Hiqd, al Hiqd, or al Ghil. In English, uh, al Hiqd can be sight, or Remka. That's, that's what Ghimr is. And Ghumr, Ghumr is a person without, uh, that's a person without, a person without experience. So, so that's, uh, that's, this, this word is, uh, Thought when uh, we, we read those uh, texts which deal with um, uh, linguistic triangles, for example, um, uh, Musallas of Kutrab. Uh, and Musallas of Kutrab, uh, the first uh, two uh, verses where, where it is start, actually start with this word. It says, Al Ghamru, Al Ghamru Maun Gharuza, Ghazura, sorry, Al Ghamru Maun Ghazura, Wal Ghamru Hikdun Sutera, Wal Ghamru Zu Jahlin Sara, Fihi, Sara Fihi, Walam Yujarib, Walam Yujarib. So it's an ignorant person. A homer is an ignorant person, but in the meaning that he doesn't have much life experience. Well, you jarib doesn't have much. Uh, so, al homer, al homer with dummy, a shaks, al mahmur, al dilam, you jarib al homer, new fight. And this arrogant person who thinks that he has a lot of knowledge because he has read some books or, or even a lot of books <laughs> and he has sharp mind, but he doesn't have life experience. Uh, and the same thing, uh, same word you will find in uh, Musallas of uh, Imam Ibn Malik, a uh, Thai, uh, uh, where he says, Maun Kasirun Wadalamun, Ghamru. ومن غمرت مصدرا ولا غمره حقد وايدا عطش ولا غمر من كان للتجريب زجتنا. so غمر is a person who is من كان للتجريب زجتنا. so غمر غمر is غمر is غمر is the person who is sort of arrogant because he is مغمور. that's what مغمور. but he has read books. so he has information maybe a lot of information. he has sharp mind. Yeah? like a person who can go to a new religion and say oh. I have, I have researched all the religions and this is the best religion, even though he hasn't described the surface. It doesn't matter. Uh, so th that's sort of person in English we call neophyte. Um, neophyte. Um, so that's what Homer is, arrogant person who might have read more uh, books, might have sharp mind, but he doesn't have a lot of experience. A lot of experience. And Imam Ibn Malik uh, says in Al-Ilam, Mankana, well, Homer, Mankana, li tajribi zajtinari. He doesn't have much life experience. Uh, and uh, the, 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 the nazm, or the poem of uh, Musalla Sukutab, it says, well, Umar Zu Jahlin Sara. So he is uh, ignorant in that sense, but he um, Sara fihi walam he, he is he is ignorant in the sense that he doesn't have much life experience. Uh, and uh, the same the same um, the same uh, word occurs in uh, Abu Abu Hayyan's uh, famous uh, verses where he said, "Yazunul Umaru and Al Kutub Tahdi, Aha Fani Le Prakil Ulumi, Wama Yadril Jahul Bi Anna Ghamamid Ghamamid Hayra Hayra." أقل الفهيمة إذا أرنت الألوم بغير شيخ طللت عن السرات المستقيمة وطلت بس الأمور عليك حتى تصير عدلة من توم الحكيمة so here he says يزن الأمر this arrogant person he says he thinks that the books he has read are going to guide him but he doesn't know um, this and he called him uh, ignorant person as well he doesn't know because uh, he doesn't know that there are matters in which you know uh, reason become bewildered and which cannot be solved uh, just with the help of books, uh, you need a teacher because that teacher has life experience. So he can explain things to you in their context. So when he's talking about Umrah al Kutub so this person had read actually a lot of books. But what he lacks is this life experience in variety of this uh, this uh, life, uh, uh, this education in the school of life. That's what he lacks. He, sh he, sh he lacks. He thinks that he knows. And in fact, his knowledge is context, uh, contextless knowledge because the context to knowledge is provided by life experience. Okay, let's go back to the text and finish it off. So, so the third.